Hey, what is up guys? Mike here, and it's been a while since I have updated with a Nexus 6P video. So today I will be sharing with you what I have been using as my daily driver for over the past two weeks, and that is simple AOSP or SAOSP. Much like the name implies, it is a very lightweight Android Nougat ROM with a few tricks up its sleeve. Now, most of the features will be found within the settings under the Build Tweaks option, where you will navigate your way through a swipeable menu system and have the option to modify settings in the status bar, notification shade, and lock screen. Among my favorites is the ability to customize the clock and date system. This will allow you to control the positioning of the time on your status bar, selecting specific readout styles, and even set custom date formats. You will also find toggles for displaying the number of pending notifications, a double tap to sleep on the status bar, and a baked in network traffic monitor, which will allow you to further customize your options for ongoing data information on your status bar. Under the notification drawer tab, you will find a few features for quick setting toggles. For example, you will be able to use a one tap option to enable or disable specific data options via your Wi Fi or cellular data tiles. So with these enabled, you will remove the advanced information setting and replace it with a simple on and off switch. It is also worth noting that there is a haptic vibration mode for your quick settings, as well a quick pull down menu with options to control the notification shade with left or right single swipe gestures. In the lock screen tab, we have a toggle for the double tap to sleep anywhere on the lock screen and an option to change lock screen shortcuts. In here, you will be able to reassign your shortcuts with specific installed applications, or you can completely remove them to disable any accidental pocket wakes or activations. Moving outside of the build tweaks, you will find some additional features located throughout these settings. For example, in display, you will have the option for your NuGet font and display size settings, but you will also now have an expanded desktop feature, a double tap to wake anywhere on the device, and a feature for the volume rocker wake options. And speaking of the volume rockers, you will also have additional options for media volume and playback controls found in the other sound settings. And for the last feature set located in the developer options, you will find a power menu, which will allow you to toggle specific controls through a long press of the power button. Overall, this is a very simple AOSP ROM. As the name implies, it runs very stable and is in fact one of the most fluid Nougat ROMs I have come across so far in the early build stages. Everything functions properly, including the multi-view window. I didn't have any issues running multiple apps with this at once, and I didn't have any issues with any of the built-in feature sets or specific Nougat features. Now, I will point out that I am running this along with the latest version of Franco Kernel. Without any tweaks, I usually end up with about four to five hours of screen on time with moderate usage. But of course, this will always be different for everyone else due to different networks, conditions, and overall usage. But yeah, that pretty much sums up this ROM. It's currently my daily driver until I find the next best thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check the description below for details, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.